one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I got the truck loaded almost. Katrina's got dog food out of the trailer. I got this awesome, awesome Fox Body Mustang on here. And a couple boxes. Man, we're loading up. We're getting stuff out of here. This is a walk around. And the deals in this thing, I got stinking pepper tree leaves that have fell all over them. And I didn't take a power washer up and blow them off. I'm going to do a walk around of this lot before I go, I think. But the walk around you're going to get now is just some cheap stuff. Call me up about it. I'm getting them out of here. Um, if you've seen anything on this lot, or this video and what I'm showing in it that you're interested in, call me because it's not going to be here long. I'm getting it moved. I'm getting it out of here. It's cheap. It's so cheap. It's pitiful. With all that, here we go. Check it out. They're not clean. They're not all piffed up and spiffed up, but like this is the kind of stuff that people buy, spiff up, and then sell to you for three times as much. So that's the deal with these cars. Here we go. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a walk around of my upper lot where I have a lot of stuff just sitting. These cars are cheap. I don't want a whole lot for them. I just got to get rid of them. I'm getting out of all the storage lots down here and getting this stuff kind of going a different direction. If there's anything you see here, give me a call. 406-546-8748. This stuff is cheap. That's all I got to say. And I'll start off with just this one. Bam. 1972 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. This is a straight car. It's not all rusty or nothing. There is some out in the front here, but right here, there's some corrosion in there. But other than that, it's a pretty clean car, other than a couple little spots. It was next to something hot right here. This just kind of got cracked. It's the only year that has that cool little tail light in the back. And it's got these really cool whoopy whoop little fins too. But the wreathed things are really cool. I believe it was an original red car. Um, and as you can see right here, same kind of thing. It needs a little work on those areas. This one here is not that bad. Now my full review shows this car in its entirety. It shows the engine and everything. This car needs a restoration 100%, but I'm selling it cheap. How cheap is cheap? You might say. I don't know if you said. That's what I'm saying. Cheap is, oh man. I want it gone. It's a total project, 1,450 bucks. The 300E, this is a rare manual car in the 3.0 little Mercedes Benz. Um, the interior's clean. Somebody scuffed it right along here. Now there is no review of this car up anywhere. So this came off, it needs to go back on its clips. But there's a little bump on the door and it didn't really gouge it in. Just a slight bit at the top and that little scuff there. Um, but the interior is clean enough. Um, you can see the lumbar support on the other side is chewed up a bit, but the seats are clean. The linkage and the um, tranny in this thing. What's pretty cool in America? 145 on it. Um, it's a good runner. It's just, I kept it around for that. I mean, clear coats all burn off the top. Um, it's not in the aesthetically the super prime shape. Let me put this here on my neck. Open this hood for you. It's that motor. Very clean. Well, obviously it's dusty, but it was a very clean car. This is total junk. It does have a motor. It's a 300 SD and it's got nice wheels. It's just a parts car. Um, we took most of the interior and everything out. So if you got something that needs a motor, it's a 79 and hey, the body's worth nothing to you. Look at that, it's just nothing. We've taken everything out. It's all falling apart. But the motor and tranny in this car were good. It was a lost key and a rusted out piece right here and a couple things like that that made me decide to just take this car apart. So if you need a motor and tranny, great. This is the car for you. You can have it for 450 bucks. I just want a gun. This, total junk now. Uh, Gunner and me took this thing apart. The seats were a little torn. I didn't get the wheel or nothing, but we got most everything out of the dash, and this is just total garbage up here. It's just not anything that anybody wants. I'm gonna scrap it. Um, if somebody wants it, wants some parts, I need to get that mirror. Um, let me know. I've got all the parts in the all the parts for the whole car are in a shed Okay, this car is clean. I just brought it up here and as you can see it's starting to get some pepper tree stuff on it Look at that. It's on that too These well these this one this one and the green one Just came up here because I'm clearing out the other lot um, Nothing really inside this one, but it's got 55,000 original miles. I want these cars gone 
I'm gonna give you a deal on this one. Check this one out on my channel. It is a super clean original. It's a one owner. Um, it's an 82. The Nissan Datsun. It's right on the cusp. You don't know which one it is. If it's a Sentra or a B210 or whatever, B310. Nice, nice newer tires. This car is nice. I drove it about 300 miles and it drove just fine. Um, this car, get it out of here. It, it passed smog here, man. And then like, I just, I had, yeah, whatever. Get this car out of here. I will take, let me look at this one first. The Dakota, Dakota, Durango. It's got the 5.9 RT motor. Um, this stuff has just started stacking up on it and it's been raining, so it's on here, but I'll blow it all off. It's not messed up. It's very clean on the paint and stuff, um, except for the back. You can check out the full video on my channel. Um, it's locked. Well, the other side's not. I'll go around there. Get this thing out of here, 1650 bucks. What a deal, that's, that's such a steal of a deal. 1650, I just want it gone. Okay, this, I don't wanna get in the truck. There you go, very clean inside. Check out the full review, it's got 110 on it, and it's a nice, good running truck. Um, I used it for about 8,000 miles. I just want it gone, and I'll take, um, roll the dice here, and look at, yeah, there's stuff all over the cars, you get it. I'll take, um, 1300 bucks, just want it gone. Now this Caddy, I don't have a review of this Caddy up anywhere. I don't have no pictures of this Caddy up or nothing like that. However, it's a sweet limo. It's a factory limo. I love this front section here and the way that comes around. I may end up just taking this into Montana and keeping it because it's a factory Fleetwood limo and it's bad to the bone. I want to sell it though because I'd rather sell all this stuff than move it. That's just, look at the big scoopy scoops in the back for the swamp cooler in the trunk. So cool. In here, it's clean. It's a little musty smelling. Um, but it's all here. Three row factory limo, baby. Did it have the AC in the back seat up there? No. It's got those things up there. Lights and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's pretty custom and it's all factory. Oh, look at the window switches. Way back there to where you can be leaned back and roll your window down. That's cool. Cool project. This I can't sell and this I can't sell yet because it's full of my junk. Look at that. It's all blown out. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this thing out of here. It's full parts from that car. Look at that ass end too. Just a beautiful car. This one here, I want it gone. Um, I'm gonna think about that while I show this. This car is clean. Check it out, it's a one owner, 136,000 mile. And like I say, this one, the Sentra and the Durango, we just brought up here um, a few months ago. And starting to get this on it. Don't worry, I'll clean that up for you. But back seat, just super clean. It's only got 136 on it. Front seat has some, look at that, wear, just from age and stuff. 136, runs great. I put quite a few miles on this personally. It's a 94, so it's the facelift model, um, which is very desirable. And it's in great shape besides this being faded a little bit on the bumpers, like they all get. The paint's in great condition. This car, how much? I'm gonna get you, oh man. Deals on these cars, I'm telling you, the deals I'm going to give you right here. Get this car out of here. 1700 bucks. Just get it gone. 1700 It's got to go. This one, um, well, 2650 I want it gone. Um, the Volvo. Full veggie fuel conversion. Um, some One of my guys ran it and then shut it off without turning off. The veggie fuel part so that part let me put this over here i don't know why i don't know why an awesome cadillac air intake cleaner would be sitting here along with these pieces that are kind of expensive um i'm gonna go ahead and get the keys out and show you because that's a lot of the value here a lot of the value here is that it's a clean car 71 and it's a diesel these things last the interior it needs what it needs i mean it's just it's an old volvo and it's set up here in the sun but when it comes to this oh that was a screw let's get that out of there you got all your veggie fuel kit and stuff right here 
I don't know what the little thingy things are, but someone does. It all runs down into the system and bleeds on through and there's heaters in it and all that stuff. There's receipts and everything in here. This car is a clean car. Um, it doesn't look so clean. It's got busted up taillights. And if you look at the front, there's a big... This stuff needs to be reconditioned. Um, yank the motor out. This has got a bend in it. You got a ding here. Dent. Whatever you want to call it. It's not a super beautiful car. It needs tires now. But it's cheap. And you can't buy the veggie fuel kit for what I'll take for this. Um, get it out of here. 500 bucks. I just want it gone. Take the veggie fuel king. Take it all. This thing's out of here. Um, this piece of junk. And ain't no use talking about it. It's a piece of junk. Um, if you need a part, I'm sure I might have a couple. But Gunner came over and took a lot of this stuff out. And it is what it is. It's junky. He didn't get this stuff, though, man. That sucks, you know? That's what we were going to get. Huh, we got the lights. This piece here is probably... Why don't we have that? This whole piece, this is... This is money in the bank, dude. Are you serious right now? I'm gonna tell him that. And oh my god, really? This is like big money, dude. This is just not... We gotta keep this kind of stuff safe. Okay, junk car, more... Oh my god, the latch pull down? This is a and stuff. That's a hundred dollar part. This has been half ass taken apart. I gotta get back up here. This thing. Somebody needs to buy this. It's just a cheap little van. These are getting popular. Um it's got one owner, 140 or so on it, 138 or 148. Uh, I doubt you'll be able to see it because there's so much dust in it. 139. One owner. Nice little truck, not all torn up or nothing. The window popped out. I've got all the thing that goes around it and all this, all the parts are here. My protective cover has went off. Um, it's not really got all that wet in here. Mitsubishi. But it, it needs a restoration in a light form. It's clean outside, man. The clear coat's starting to come off. But it's a clean little rig. Clean enough. How much? Cheap. That's why it's so clean. It's clean because it's cheap. Price denotes how clean something is, right? That yeah, kind of. Okay, this bad boy here. Get it out of the place. Just get it gone. I will take. Drum roll, please. Yeah. 550 bucks. It's a great deal. Even for, I hate to part it out, but that's where it's going if I don't get some of the money like that. The limo, I told you, breaks my heart. These wheels are sweet on the Volvo. As a matter of fact, I'm adding 100 to this. I want 600. If I want 600 bucks, that's just the six. I said 550, huh? 650? I want six or 650. That's what I'm going to get with this spoiler and with the parts and the wheels that I can take off. I mean, I could pull the veggie kit and get 650, 750, but I'm giving somebody a deal. These cars are a deal. Half of them are junk. Did I give a price on that one? I don't think I did. Get this thing out of here. It's 300E. Want it gone. And I will take. <sighs> Let's show you this side. See the top of the paint there starting to not be in such good shape, bud. All the clear coat's gone off the sides. You can see that. Okay, give me the price. What's the price? Here we go. Um, $13.50. I want it gone. Okay, that's the deal. That is the deal. Um, if there's anything you've seen, give me a call. 406-546-8748. It's all project cars. You can make me an offer if you want, but... Prices are where they are, and they're cheap. And, um, yeah, if you're interested, call me up. Check out the website, oneownercarguy.com. And if you look on my channel, on the few here that I said, like the Sentra and the E320 and the Durango and the 73 Cadillac, those four all have full reviews on my channel. So you can check those out and see how they really look and all. And let's get these things out of here. Give me a call. That's it. That's all I got to say. It's just a big review and a big walk around of cars that I got for sale. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. All that good stuff. I'm going to McDonald's.